Now, publisher of Aviation Magazine, Daily Momodo, has joined many critics of the federal government's action in banning Twitter's operation in Nigeria. According to him, NBC's order to media houses to deactivate their Twitter handles is a draconian, uh, is draconian rather, and against the ethical demand of journalists. He asks journalists to remain undaunted in the face of the new regulation. So for me, I will continue to talk and I'll continue to advise our friends, yes, talk, write responsibly, but nobody should ask you not to use the basic tools of your profession. It's like someone asking you to tear your certificates. You know, Twitter is not owned by any country. It's a private enterprise. The choice of the president to join Twitter was also personal. It had nothing to do with the people of Nigeria, and he used it effectively, and I used it with him effectively to promote him in 2015. And I still use it almost on a daily basis to promote the activities of the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I'm sure, as at the time, he ran into problems with Twitter. He must have acquired maybe over 4 million followership. I have acquired 1.6 million followers, which took me about 12 years to acquire. Nobody can ask me to wipe it out in one day. It's the tool of my job. The president has the freedom to delete himself voluntarily from Twitter, but he cannot delete 40 million others from Twitter because we don't work for the presidency and he does not own us and he cannot curtail our freedom from doing our jobs to the best of our abilities. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.